Ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome the lady of the day, the queen of the day, the morning star, Miss Sandra Rowland. Let me find out. I'll be back. You're welcome to our house. So sorry, my daughter and her friends are having their party. I mean, their birthday party. Oh, that's lovely. It is their time. We should allow them to enjoy themselves. Oh, I'm so glad that you understand. Um, however, yeah. I'm afraid we have to go to the hotel because the whole house is messed up. It's all right, it's all right. But you shouldn't have sent them away. It's their own time. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. So shall we? Yeah. Please. <laughs> Sandra, why are you doing this to yourself? To your father and to all of us. What you're doing is bad. And as your stepmother, you have to listen to me. No, listen to me, stepmother. I won't let you and daddy run my life. I won't let you take away my freedom. Freedom to do what, Sandra? Disrespect your parents. Your father works hard every day to achieve a name and means for all of us. Is this how you pay him back? Tell me more about your freedom. Look, I have had enough of your sermons. I think you should leave me now. Sandra. We all love you. Why don't you allow us to show you this love? Save your love for your own daughter. When I meet my mother in heaven, she will show me enough love.
Open the gate. Why not? Your daddy said I should not allow you in. My father, will you open this gate? Simeon. Madam. Open this gate. Now. Madam, I can't. Simeon. Sir? Okay. Hey, Sandra, she just came back. I see. Open the gate. Sandra, what time is it by your watch? Is it a time a responsible girl is supposed to come home, knowing that her parents are at home? Eh? But Daddy, I just want to say, sick friend. I mean, that's all. Shut that your trap up. Bloody liar. So you have formed the habit of keeping late nights, Sandra. Eh? This is the third time this week. Why? Well, one day, just one day, you will regret this. I said shut the door. I can't walk come out with the car. Now. Your father instructed me not to open the gate. And I said, open that gate! He instructed me not to open the gate. Don't let me get you there, you'll be sorry. But then he will sack me. Open that gate. Why are you doing this to me? He will sack me. You to play. Okana, Sandra. What? What do you mean, Sandra? Where is the car? Okana, Sandra, carry and come out. My God. Look, Victor, are you mad? Huh? Didn't you tell her I want to go for a wedding? And I told her. Even if he didn't, who is Sandra to use my personal car? Huh? What is wrong with that useless rat? Darling, please, don't let her spoil your day. Ernest and his wife need us early as their sponsors. So please, let's go with another car. Where's the key to that car? Now, fast. Bring the car. You won't do simple instruction, you won't carry it out. Quick, bring the car. Save my time, you!
Uh, Simeon. Sir. As soon as Sandra comes back, yes, sir. let me know before you open the gate for her. All right, sir. Is that clear? All right, sir. My understood? All right, sir. Okay. Bye-bye, sir. Madam. Hey, come back here. Where is my car? It's at the police station. What is my car doing at the police station? One stupid man insulted me. I got angry and I bashed his car to teach him a lesson. Hey! Oh my God! Go and get my car or else I'll kill you. Where do you think you're going at this time of the night, Sandra? And how is that any of your business? Sandra, your father is only angry. You know he values that car a lot. Everything I do irritates both of you. What's the use living in the same house with you anyway? Sandra, have you asked yourself why? Eh? Have you ever pondered through your activities, Sandra? I can see that my son is deceiving you. In case you don't know, I am old enough to live my life the way I please, and no one else. No. Hmm? I'll make your father understand this. Oh. One more nag word for my father, and I'm leaving this house for good. Sandra, yes, uh, that's the girl. So, like I was saying, you know, the prophet. I'd like to walk over and talk to her. What the hell is your problem? I've told you that girl is a bloody snob. Besides, she's not your kind of girl. I'm going over to talk to her. Hang on. Hi. Hi. Do you mind if I sit down with you? Sorry if I'm bothering you, but I, I really like to sit down with you for a while. Do I take it that you don't have anything better to do, or you just like to hear yourself talk? Not really. I, I saw you the other day at my friend's department, and I'd like to know you. My name is Michael. Michael Jackson? Why don't you go ask your friends about me, instead of wasting your time? Look, I'd rather you tell me yourself. That way it makes more sense. Look, go play somewhere else. I'm busy.
No, what for? I can't find my two thousand dollars and my gold watch I kept in this drawer. Are you sure you brought such money home? What sort of question is that? Didn't I show you the money? Huh? I told you that that girl is a criminal, a devil. But what does she need that kind of money for? My two thousand dollars and my gold watch as well. Look, Edna, her cup is full. This time, I am going to hand her over to the police. Maybe she has a problem we are not aware of. I beg your pardon. What sort of problem is that? Huh? Good day, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I am Officer Eke from the Central Police Station. I see. So, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can do for you? Your daughter is at the station, sir. My daughter? What did she do this time around? Officer, I hope she's still alive. Uh, yes, she is. It's just that she knocked down a school child. Oh, my God. Sandra. <sighs> what about the child? Is he alive? Uh, yes. But right now, he's at the hospital. Thank God he's still alive. <sighs> Sandra. I have to leave now, sir. All right, I'll be at the station. It's all right, sir. Honestly, I would have loved to release a child because of your relationship with me. But I will advise that you go to the hospital and see the child that was knocked down and the family also. But deep you, the idea of detaining her in that cell makes me uncomfortable. Only God knows the trauma she's passing through. At least the child is not dead. She did not only knock down this good child. We also found some quantities of Indian hemp in her possession. What? Indian hemp? She also resisted arrest, insulting, and abusing officers on duty. GPO, please. Please, release her for us, please. Well? Like I said earlier, she would be released um, because of security reasons. Because of security reasons, go to the hospital and see the child that was knocked down. That's all right. I think you have a point, dear. I'll see you on my way back from the hospital. Thank you. Please, you see the boy that was knocked down by Eka earlier today? Yes. And who are you? I am Chief Roland Okese. This is my wife. And the girl that knocked down this boy today is our daughter. That useless girl is your daughter. And you people can go control her. Now, she has knocked down my son. That drinking and smoking in their head. Madam, please, we are very sorry. Nothing will happen to your son. You are sorry. Just pray that nothing happens to my son. Madam, by the grace of God, nothing will happen to him. Yes. I just hope so. Otherwise. All right. Let the will of God be done. You may leave. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Madam, please have this for Miss Milk. Please take it. Leave it. 
You can go with it. Now, tell me, what sort of demon are you? What have I not done for you, Sandra? What? If you are mother, we are still alive. Is this the kind of respect to be given to her? Don't you know that wherever she is now, she'll be full of tears because of your ugly behaviors? But daddy, it was an accident. I mean, anybody could have made the same mistake. Sandra, a child's life is at stake because of your drunkenness. Are you calling it a mistake? By the way, where is my gold watch and my $2,000? Now! Where is it? And then where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. He says I need to go to the hospital. I'm not feeling well. Hey! How dare you? How dare you walk away on me while I'm talking to you? Hey! Stay out of this! Stay out of this! And not this and Come back here! Come back here, Sandra! Does she realize what she's putting me through? Huh? What have I done to that little rat to deserve all this? What? Edna, tell me. God knows I have done everything for her. Everything. You need some rest, dear. Hmm? Sit down. Come, come and sit down. You need some rest. You need some rest. Remember all the doctor said about you, baby. Hmm? You don't need all this now, please. I love her, and I have shown that. God knows I have done everything as a father. It's okay. It's okay. Forget thinking about Sandra. She will change one day. You will die one day thinking about her. And now that your baby is on her side, think you need help matters. Please. Please. <laughs> Yes, 
Nobody collected them for me. For what? Go and meet him and tell him to give you my kids. I want to go to school. Ah, madam, you want him to sack me. I can't. What the? Daddy? Yes. Can I have my car keys? I'm late for school. Which car keys? I have seized them. Secondly, I have freezed your account until there is a change in your character. Isn't that going too far? Look, Edna, I am prepared to go extra miles to let that little brat know that I am her father. Since she has chosen to behave like an animal, I'll treat her like one. And that is motto. Let's go. your studies. Fine, ma. Uh, is Michael in? Of course. He must be studying in his room. Ah, well, let me see. Okay. Auntie, you are going nowhere. We have a day. <laughs> the t-shirt. Stanley. Auntie. You don't forget things. I do, but not with t-shirt, you know. Okay. Your t-shirt. Yeah. Have it. Are you all right now? Yeah. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you very much. My In my aeronautics preliminary exams. It's a lot of hard work, you know. You are not yet a pilot, and I hardly see you. When you become one, only God knows if I will ever see you. Why? Now. How about 
just are catching your yeah. 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 Where are you going to? I have an afternoon lecture, so I have to rush. Yeah, we for you. You know we don't have breakfast. Oh man, as I was saying, that was how I was just giving them. You know now, I'm going to start. Just give them. Everybody was like clearing way. Just nice to you briefly, please. Yes, I know what I do for you. Please, could you borrow me some money? I promise I'll pay you back. Just give me some time and. Look, Sandra, I've given you 6,000 naira. And you promised to pay me back in four days. Now it is two weeks. Right now, I don't have. Love it, please. Just 5,000. I just need to pick up my clothes from the dry cleaners. That's all. I'll pay you back with 50% interest, I promise. I can spare you some of my dresses. As for cash, no way. I'm very, very broke. Very broke. I'm sorry. Come on, love it. Is that not Sandra? Mm -hmm. She's begging again. Why is she always begging for goodness sake? I thought her father is the richest man in the world. Honestly, I don't understand what is happening to Sandra. She used to be one of the richest students in school. Forget it, my dear. Maybe her sugar daddy has caught her with another man and decided not to be for Christmas any longer. I don't understand. <laughs> As I was saying before the guy. <laughs> Judging you now, yeah, Pauline. Why are you saying that? Are you asking me? Eh? Anyway, wait until you tell my rap. Look, I want that money now, or I will pull off your shoes. Pauline, please, just exercise a little more patience. I'll pay you. Which patience? You told me three days, and now it's more than two weeks. Look, Sandra, if you don't pay my money now, I will disgrace you here. Pauline, please, and just try and understand. See, I, I'm, I'm facing some problems with my family. <laughs> Pauline, please now, eh? This eh, is not called for. Mm, 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 eh, eh. It's not called for. It's just three thousand. I'll pay you. I'll... Pauline, Pauline, Pauline. Hey, Pauline. hey, 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 hold on. Excuse me. What's what's the matter? She's holding me three thousand naira, and she must pay me now, or she's not leaving. But it's obvious she does not have it here. I'm not interested. All I want is my money. Um, you know me. Yes. And you know Jeff Eze. Yes, I do. He's in my class. First thing tomorrow morning. I personally bring the money to your class. What about that? It's okay. If I don't get the money tomorrow, the next time I see you, I will strip you. It's okay. Sorry. Thanks. No, you didn't have to stand in for me. Well, I, I couldn't just watch her molest you that way. Uh, which way are you going to? Can I walk you down to the gate? I'm not going to the gates, I'm going to the lab. Then, can I walk you down to the lab? Sure. Right, so... So, how, how come you hold her? Tell me. It's a long story. Well, I, tell me! I just didn't have... about her we are about. What for? Sandra left this house on her own. And I am sure that wherever she is, she is happy. So, why bother? What do you mean? People will think we sent her out 
In fact, that I threw her out of the house. Look, Edna, don't worry about what people would say. All right? When they ask, I'll tell them the truth. That's not the point. She has no money, no clothes. She left the house with practically nothing. Can't you understand? So, what do you want me to do? And where are you going to? I am going to look for her. Edna, you are looking for trouble. Why don't you let the sleeping dog lie? Huh? Roland, if she's my biological daughter, you won't expect me to sit down here while she's out there uncared for. Excuse me. Oh, my dear, what do you want to make I do? In the sake of say, make your life for better, make me day walk every day and night. And all the property when I don't get for this world, oh. Not only you won't get all of them, but why you no want to change? Where do you define? Hi. Where Remember do me? You of course. Thanks for the other day. I'll, I'll soon be able to pay that girl off. I have some jewels I want to sell, so I'll make some money. Oh, that won't be necessary. I already paid her. I mean, I collected some money from a friend. I paid her. In fact, it's not a good idea selling one's properties. What choice do I have? I have to survive. I mean, I can't even feed. Anyway, I have some money. Do you mind joining me somewhere? Why do you want to know about my parents? Because I feel you should go back to them now that you're broke. Instead of borrowing money around. Don't worry, I get by. It's either you don't have parents or you're running away from them. Why do you say that? Because you're never willing to talk about them. Okay. My mother died a long time ago. My father married a second wife. We don't get along. He hates me for that. He froze my account. And so I'm begging. You must have really been a bad girl for them to hate you that much. Everybody has a lifestyle. And if they don't like mine, too bad. Yeah, I hear you're very intelligent, but not a saint. But stop borrowing money. I mean, I don't ever want to see you sell your properties, okay? Here. Two thousand naira. I'll give you some more in two weeks' time. Pay me when you're able. Come on. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, me, I'm set. Uh, I don't know about you. I want to get home early. So, shall we? Clean, it up, clean up what? I have told you to always stay in lover's room whenever you come here. And stop messing up this front for goodness sake. Ah, Grace, it's unfair now. Sandra is our visitor. Your mm -hmm. visitor, not our visitor. 
In my father's house, I own a better room. In my father's house, I own a better room. You own a better room. And yet you come here and eat rubbish. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, my daughter, sleepy. Sandra, how are you? What do you want? I cannot speak with you, please. I was told in the department that I can find you here. Huh? It wasn't nice of you to abandon your house just like that, without telling anybody. Not even I, your mother, Sandra. You are not my mother. You see? Society and family values demands that, as your stepmother, I shall assume the role of your mother. And that makes me your mother, Sandra. You can't change it. Thank you for reminding me of my late mother. Sandra Ruth. I'm here to make an offer you mustn't refuse, Sandra. And what is the offer? You have your car back. Your account will be reopened with all the areas given to you, Sandra. You have your holidays in any country of your choice. That's it. You have your parties anytime. Your father has approved of all this, but only on one condition. And what is the condition? Fine, Sandra. On the condition that you must come home with me. We need you. We want you, Sandra. We love you. Please, think of it. Hmm? I want to see Michael. Michael! Michael! Mom. Mom, somebody to see you. Hi. Hi. Sandra. Please sit down. Thank you. Excuse me. question. Michael, you took care of me when I was in the wilderness. And now I think it's time you know the real me. So why don't you go in, get dressed, and let me spoil you a little. Go on.
told me about yourself. Tell me about your parents, at least. Well, nothing much. I'm the first in the family of uh, two. Mm -hmm. My father died while I was 13. My mother is a retired teacher. I am not on the rough side, and I hope to become a pilot someday. You, know? okay. you see, your encounter with Pauline reminds me so much of myself. I used to owe a lot. But I always wanted to pay. But the money would just not come. So I hide a lot. I know the feeling. Why do you smoke? Don't you know it's not good for a girl? I don't know. My favorite habit. Besides, it keeps me happy. Hey, what do you do that for? Because smoking is not good for your health. I think it's some of these bad habits that's causing your problem at all. Not so. It's been beginning to sound like my father. Can't you just reason for once? You're a very young, pretty, and intelligent girl. From a good home. People will give anything for what you possess, but you want to just kill yourself with your drinking and smoking habits. Why? Because it's my life. And I don't need anybody to order me around. Life, it's not my life. Where are you going? Look, it's either you make a choice between me or your drinking and smoking habits. You mean if I don't quit, you will leave? Yes, Sandra. I'd leave. It's not life. It's a waste. Okay, all right. I quit. I'm done. I don't like drinking. Just a little. This last time. Come on. Please. Come. Coming home this late, eh? Since when? I'm all right. I'm fine. Michael, nobody's asking whether you're fine or all right. Look, Francisca was here the whole day. Eh? She waited and waited. Eh? You didn't even leave any message for her. I'm sorry. Honestly, I'd just like to go rest. That stupid girl, eh? Won't you stay home and read your books? Oh, Mom, I'll be all right. Look, I'll be back before it's late today. I promise. Michael, Francisca will soon be here. What am I going to do with her, eh? Mom, let her wait. I'll see you later. Huh? I'm coming. Cheer up now. Cheer up. Michael, it's not funny. It's not funny. Bye bye. bye. I'll see you.
what's that? What do you want to do? Didn't I warn you that I never want to see you smoking in your entire life again? But what is wrong with smoking? I enjoy it. Don't you ever dare me again, okay? Yes, sir. You think I'm joking, right? Hey, hey, hey. wait, wait. Believe Come me. on. I said yes. Ah, I said yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Play that. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I promise to stop this time. Promise. Cross next time, next time you won't like me. There won't I be. Promise you that. There I promise you that. There won't be a next time. There won't be a I promise you that. Promise, promise, promise. Okay. Michael. Michael, what has come over you these days? All of a sudden, you start coming home late, almost on daily basis. I don't understand what you're talking about. You won't understand me. Michael, you will never ever understand me. Nowadays, you hardly have time for me because of that slot. Don't you ever. Okay? Francisca, what's the matter with you? You! You are the matter with me, Michael. You just changed overnight. Why? Because change, they say, is the only constant thing in nature. Francisca, why are you crying? Huh? Oh, it's Michael. Michael, what happened? He has gone out and abandoned me again. Oh dear. Michael. Michael, what is even wrong with that boy? Eh? Don't worry, eh? don't worry. I'll talk to him as soon as he gets back, okay? Don't cry. Wipe your tears, okay? So how was lectures today? It's all right. It was boring being in the class for the whole day. Good. Don't forget people are watching you. Any day you miss lectures or miss school, I won't take it lightly with you. Okay. What are you trying to do? Cage me? Oh, really? See, Sandra, time comes in everybody's life when you need to stop to make decisions, to take stock of your past life. So far, Sandra, your past life is, is a write-off. Okay, and you need to make a change. Why are you being so hard on me? That's all I stopped smoking and drinking. Where are you going to? I'm taking you home. Henceforth, no more late nights. Okay? That reminds me. Sandra, I told about something that was disturbing me. I promised to tell your father about it now if mentioned concern. Why? What? You mean you've forgotten that I need someone to sign my recommendation letters? Oh, oh sorry, sorry. That skipped my mind. Um, uh, okay. I'll talk to my dad when we get home. Alright? Alright? Say so. Told you I can sign your recommendation papers? Yes, sir. Good. From your papers, you are a very intelligent student. Thank you, sir. A type of student I would like to help, but there's a problem. Um, Sandra, excuse us. But, Daddy, I, I want to stay. I said, excuse us. Um, all right, young man, please see me in my office tomorrow. All right, sir. 
Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Where is mom? Mom is asleep in her room. Mom is not happy with you because you are keeping late nights this is Is that right? Not to worry. I'll make it up to her tomorrow. Okay? Um, right now I'm tired. I need to sleep. Right? Ah, yeah, bro, Mike. What's really happening between you and Auntie Francisca? She was here the whole of today crying. Mom was upset. She fed for her. Honestly, I don't know. Just that. Just that what? Look, Bro Mike. I know you don't love her anymore. Tell me, say lie. We'll talk about this later, okay? I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. Huh? Good night. <laughs> Yes, Mike. Yes, sir. You have a bright future. And your papers are quite impressive. Thank you very much, sir. To be a successful pilot requires much devotion, determination, and lots of concentration. No form of distraction, be it physical, psychological, or emotional, can be tolerated. I very well know that, sir. Good. According to you, your father is dead. I will sign your recommendation papers, but you must have to do one thing for yourself. Sir, yes, I am. I'm very well ready to do anything. Mm. Uh, yes, sir. I want you to stay away from Sandra. But, sir, I... Now listen, Michael. Sandra is my daughter, but she's a bad influence. I love her so much, but I will not let you have anything in common with her. She will wreck you for that. Just the other day, you were smelling of alcohol. No doubt, uh, Sandra may have introduced you to that. To be a successful pilot, you don't need that kind of a woman around you. I, I look. If I sign you a recommendation papers and you go out there to mess yourself up. Culture of alcohol. I'll be doing myself and my airline a lot of damage. Drunks don't fly because lives are stick. Lives are a stick. Yeah? Yes, sir, but I I know it's just a... well, um so you can go. Uh, Michael, sir. Finally, don't let yourself be messed up by a girl whose future and life is useless. Just think about it. Okay? Thank you, sir. All right. Good luck. I just want to go home. I'll see you later. Michael! Michael! Auntie, 
take me there and buy something for me. I'm coming. I need to talk to you. Look, I'm not in the mood for any form of discussion. Right now, I just want to be left alone. Go. Michael. Michael! Don't let yourself be messed up by a girl whose future and life is useless. Just think about it, okay? Yeah, Mr. Johnson. Okay, okay. I just want to let you know that the National Assembly have booked our airline on charter to Africa. Yes. So I want you to tidy up the arrangements, process all the papers, okay? Good. That is it. Yes. Mr. Michael, can I help you? Yes, sir. I, I accept, sir. I accept your condition. I promise that from today, I, I will no longer have anything to do with Sandra. That's all right, boy. I will sign your recommendation papers when I am convinced that you no longer go out with my daughter. All right? You know that girl, yes. Sandra. Yes. She's, she's coming now, okay? Yes. Just, just tell her I'm, I'm not in. Okay. Tell, tell, no, no, no. No. Tell, tell her I traveled, yeah. okay? I, I traveled. Okay. Yes, I traveled. Yes, come in. Good afternoon. It's still morning. Sorry. Is Michael in? Yes. Yes. No. I mean no. He has traveled. Traveled? Must have been sudden. Yes. It came out all of a sudden. I see. He's not here. Avoiding me, Mike. Why? Why should I? What for? I don't know. You tell me. What did my father say to you? My father did not tell me anything. Don't lie to me. Did he tell you to avoid me so you could go to heaven? Anyway, whatever it is, thanks a lot. Daddy? Daddy, what did you tell Michael about me? I told him the truth. And what is the truth? Did you have to murder my soul to protect a stranger? Look, Sandra. I will not sit down here and watch you ruin that young man's future. Daddy, he's all I have. He's the only one who understands me, who cares for me. He makes me happy. Daddy, why? Look, Sandra, I look at you and I cry every day. 
I swore that you would be my last mistake of ignorance. My only sin of omission. That young man will not be the second. That is the truth. Are you avoiding me? Look, Sandra, we need to stop seeing, at least for your dad. No, it's not for my dad. It's for you. Tell me why. Look, Sandra, my career is at stake here. I need your father to sign my recommendation letters to move ahead in life, which he won't unless I meet his terms. By avoiding me? You're sacrificing me? I gave up my old life for you. You touched the deepest part of my heart and now you just want to turn around and walk away. Oh, look, Sandra, I, I love you. Just No, no, you don't. You don't. Because you're sacrificing me. Well, I'm sorry, Sandra. It's your dad. It's your father. friend's house when I saw her in that state. I mean, I, I couldn't leave her there like that for her to bring her home. Maria! You lied to me. You had the ghost to lie to me. No, sir. I, I, I'm not lying, sir. Get out of my house before I call any place. Get out! Out! My 
life and career depend so much on this. I, I need this recommendation from you, sir. I'm running out of time, sir. I gave you a condition which you must adhere to, young man. It's that simple. But, sir, Sandra and I no longer see anymore. I am completely out of her life and I stay away from her. You can call her and ask her, sir. Um, well, I have to find out myself in my own way. I am not fully convinced. And I want to know what I am doing, young man. Oh, please, sir. I, I just want to beg you with the name of God. Just anything to help me. There's nowhere else I could start all over to beg. I, I mean, sir, please, just... Well, um, young man, if you don't mind, please leave. You can see I am busy. Please. ever want to see you here again. Do you hear me? Useless thing. And you, Michael, stop. This girl is not good enough for you. Eh? Look at her. She reeks of alcohol. Can you imagine that? Eh? Whatever happens, Sandra is still your daughter. And there's nothing you can do about it, Biko. Edna, look. Have you forgotten that we had a deal with her? She flaunted her own part of the bargain. So, will I kill myself because of a girl that has no respect for her father? Answer me. Roland, if you won't go, then you must allow me to go. Good. Edna, shoot yourself. As for me, Roland, I have better things to do. I'll see you when I come back. You people want to kill me because of the girl that has no single respect. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. You'll be all right, okay? Do you know where my father is? Yes, I do. I already sent words to him concerning your state. My good, don't ever leave me. No. I'd always be there for you. Have I told you that I love you? Michael, 
Michael, did you get the drugs you prescribed for her? Yes, I did. I've given it to the other nurse. Good. What about some change of clothes for her? Did you wash them? Yeah, yeah. That's very nice. Very nice, boy. He has been here since today they brought his sister. He loves his sister so much. Because of the pain Sandra is having, he doesn't sleep at all. He's such a humble young man. Should I wake him? No, 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 no. Let me see my daughter first. Okay, sir. Where is she? Come this way. told me so much about you and I had a change of mind. I <coughs> brought the letter you requested for. So, that's the letter. And I wish you the best of luck. I'm very grateful, sir. Good. I promise I'll make you proud. I see. Always be a good boy. And um, one more thing. You must be very careful with my daughter. All right, sir. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. Sir. Yes? The doctor said she should give you this. And what is this? The bill. Sorry, I am not going to pay that bill. That girl is lying there because of her stupidity. And it serves her right. But she's your daughter. <laughs> there is no denying that fact. If she dies in this hospital, I am go coming to carry her corpse. But if she survives it, good. You will retain her, employ her, either as a gardener, a cleaner, or whatever, till she's able to pay her bills. So, young man, good luck. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sorry to say, I am disappointed in you. What? In fact, I don't need a letter of recommendations any longer. Sandra's life is more important to me than becoming a pilot. Nurse, I'll pay the bill.
Welcome, Dad. Ah. No, 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 don't worry. You know you are not strong yet. So. Your food is ready. Are you going to shower first? Yes. No, I mean, I want to rest for a while. Mom, I've made up my mind. And that's the way it's going to be. Michael, how could you? What am I supposed to tell Francisca's parents? They've been our family friends for ages. I, I never told you I wanted to marry Francisca. You're the one that's always prodding her, calling her your daughter-in-law. I have no emotional attachments for her. But you have emotional attachment for that whore, eh? Listen, Mike. Everybody knows this girl. Reckless, wild, spoiled. See it now. Yeah, good enough for friendship. But it's a different ball game when it comes to the word marriage. You all do not know Sandra at all. She's the only woman that's been able to touch my life, my soul, and my emotion. No woman can ever. I mean, if I want to marry tomorrow, it's got to be Sandra or nobody else. Michael. So you are putting me through all these emotional stress because of that useless girl, eh? Michael, mm. Michael. Hey. Oh, Mama. Mama, I need your support. I need your blessing. Sandra and I were meant to be together. Mm. I love her, can't you see? It still baffles me. Sandra took my clothes to dry cleaner, brought them back, prepares my food, greets me these days, comes back early and stays at home. She scares me. Maybe she wants to die. Oh, oh stop that. She's only trying to reach out to you. She has made peace with herself, and she's now a changed person. And she has given up smoking and drinking. She's up to something, but she will not fool me. Roland, will you put all this unnecessary premonition aside and give this girl a chance? I can sense danger. Yes. I can smell something. But we don't know what it is. We have to be on the watch. Look, I am going to kill somebody because of this. Now, hand them over to me. I say, hand them over to me now. Criminal. My five thousand dollars and the jewels I kept in my bedroom. Hand them over to me. I didn't say anything like that. I didn't touch anything like that. Nothing. Go here! Go here! Now hand them over to me. Look at this idiot. I told you that she is up to something. She's up to something. She has just stolen my five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars! Five thousand dollars! I swear I didn't take anything like that, mommy. I'm oh, it's all right, my dear. But you should have asked me. Ask what? I saw them while cleaning the room, so I gave them the drawer. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you... I hope you didn't do anything for me. Oh my God. You must have hurt her deep inside. No. 
It's all right, my dear. Huh? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. I'm so sorry. Please, I want you to forgive me. All things are now past. I am still your father. And I love you. Please, wipe those tears away. Right it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. It's all right, my dear. I hope you forgive me too. It's okay, you're my baby, no? It's okay. No? It's okay. Say that again, man. I had to use some experience on that one. <laughs> yeah. When are they ever going to let me fly the plane? I have been a professional pilot for over a year now. Well, Mike, you've been a good man, really. You've been a good man. The old man, that's your future father in law, he's happy with you, and so is the team. But. Oh, but, but what? I have given him everything, my time, my life, my commitment. But not your emotion. Not your emotion, Michael. What do you mean by that? Mike, you're a sad man. A real sad man. You wake up each morning broken hearted, walking from office to office with a picture of your fiance who is in the United States. I mean, we all know that she's not written you or spoken to you in about one year. That's a lie. I am your friend, Michael. In the cockpit up there in the air, I am your brother. I know that you cry in your soul. You're a sad man. And with that kind of emotion, the management wouldn't let you have the responsibility of flying an aircraft with more than a hundred people on board. It's risky. But you're a nice man. And I know someday she's going to come back and she'll be your wife. One day. She'll come back from the United States and all this stress will be over. I'm sure you'll be fine. Michael? Yes. I would have forgotten the old man was the same. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
the situation report is that of um, the... No, 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 no. Don't tell me about situation report. You see, technical terms does not impress me. Now, as my future son-in-law, what do you think as a family? Oh, well, to be honest to you, sir, we need to pay off our insurance debts. Okay. We need to also send our two head aircrafts to the United States for proper maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, change our flight schedules to favor the not the off surge. Um, also, pay, I mean, increase our pilot salary by at least 5%, like other airlines. <laughs> I know it. I know that my pilots are grumbling. Uh, not the, any that I know of. But I think it's better to avoid an industrial action. Well, um, that's all right, Michael. And um, I will need a full detail of uh, your recommendations by tomorrow. All right. I'll do that right away, sir. All right. You will have it on your table first in tomorrow morning, sir. All right. So that'll be good. That'll be nice. Have a nice day. Bye, sir. Yeah. Uh, um, sorry, sir. No. Sorry if I may ask. Um, have you heard from Sandra? No, 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 not at all. I've not heard from her. I should be asking you of her. Well, um, the last time I heard of her was through my account officer who is in the United States, where she goes to collect her money. Apart from that, I have not spoken to her for a very long time. Now, why do you ask? Oh, nothing, sir. I, I, I should be on my way, sir, now. Uh, uh, I, I'll make sure I put the report on your table tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning. All right. Bye, sir. Have a nice day. Bye, sir. Jaja! Understand when you spent your time bothering about little things. Well, Oscar, I know you won't understand. But I love Sandra so much, and this silence is becoming so long that it's affecting me. Oh, I told you to always be optimistic when it concerns love. I've always been optimistic. I think. Getting impatient about this. You don't have to be. You don't have to run out of patience. Listen, my brother, someday Sandra will come back and everything will be alright, okay? Cheer up. <laughs> be a man. Go fresh up, okay? Romaker, good afternoon. How are you? Stanley, how are you? Hi, it's Mama. Mama is fine. Mama is not happy. Uh, she doesn't want to come and see me. No, she will not tell me. Just go inside. Go to the kitchen. Pick anything like that. It's okay. Right. Bromeke, are you all right? <sighs> Stanley, I'm okay. I'm all right. Just go. Just go. Okay. Question of me. All right, me. You see, your brother even noticed that something is wrong. What can I do, man? I can't help it. Hey, wait a minute, Mr. Walker. Oscar, hi. 
here it goes. Meet our newest professional pilot, Michael. Michael, um, Angela, this is Monica. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Well, Michael, see, Monica here has always wondered what it is like being a real pilot and meeting one in real life. So, now that you're here, why don't you take Monica to your room and lecture her on how to be a pilot while I discuss some business with my girl, Angela, here? <sighs> well, I really would have loved to, but sorry, I have an important distant call to make. Oh, Michael. What's wrong with you, Michael? Very nice girl like that is here to meet you. You don't want to take her to your room because can you know me? Look, I'm just not in the mood. I have an important thing to do. I have Sandra, remember? Listen, Michael. You can't make a good pilot if you don't behave like one. Sorry, buddy. I'm already one. Oscar. Tell me I am surprised. I know you would be. <laughs> you and this choicey car. Not my fault. I wasn't expecting you to arrive from Abuja this weekend. Oh. Yeah, but you returned so early. I hope Didn't no Sandra problem. call you? Sandra? You know how Sandra is. She did not. She hardly calls me and um, except for exceptionally <laughs> greetings and uh, daddy please I need some money messages. You know, otherwise she hardly calls me. In that case, Sandra called to tell me she's coming back today. Today. Sandra? <laughs> yes. Coming back who? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Surprise, surprise. This That's girl, why Sandra. I left Abuja eh? this morning, so that we can go to the airport later in the day to Good. pick her up. <laughs> she didn't tell me. Up till now, she hasn't phoned to say that she's coming. It's all right. She says she hardly gets your line. I've been trying your line from Abuja for the past one week. Maybe something is wrong with your phone. Really? Uh, I think we better go down to the airport and wait for her. Well, that's too immediate. I think you need some rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should wait. Yes, in that case... Uh, Sandra, us down. She'll yes. call us. In that case, Yakubu. Yakubu. Send in the luggage. Uh, have you paid the taxi? Yes, I have. Ah. 
You are the insecurity, guys. It's not my fault. We are planning to get you one, baby. All right. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Now, let's go here. Sure, this flight is from Lagos? Oh, yes, sir. It arrived not quite an hour ago, sir. Check the flight number and schedule. Maybe there's a mistake. No, there's no mistake, madam. It's either your daughter is not in the flight or she has left the airport. What do we do? Let's go home. Ah, yes, sir. She has returned to this. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this yes, afternoon? Uh, uh, she went out with one man like that. One man? Mm. Which man? She just came back? Wait, wait, wait. Michael? It's Michael. Who else? Why are you? Why are you? Uh, 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 I should have known. Eh? This young blood. Eh? I miss Sandra so much. Honey? Why don't you go to Michael's house and see Sandra? Then bring her back. That is it. See Sandra, bring her back. Huh? I can't wait to see my daughter. After all these years. Um, open the gates. Okay, sir. Michael, how are you? So, where is she? Is she sleeping? Sorry, who? What do you mean, who? My daughter. She's been home, and we were told you left with her. You, you mean Sandra is back, and I have no idea? No, she just came back and. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe we should. But if she's not here, where will she be? Huh? Sorry, sir. This has got to be a big joke or something. I mean, you mean Sandra is back and she's supposed to be here with me? You haven't seen her. She's back. She's home. Yes. She's home. Um, all right. Um, um, all right. All right. She's, uh, she's, she's home. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, uh, said she has your phone number. Yes. I wonder why she has not called it to me. Oh, maybe she's waiting for her luggage at the airport. No. All her luggage is already here. Uh, do I get you something? Oh, no. I'm not hungry, ma'am. Are you sure? Yeah. Very fine. Oh, Chief, you're welcome. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Michael. Awesome. How are you? Sandra has not yet been back. Oh. I haven't seen her. Where could she be, for Christ's sake? But uh, maybe sometimes these things happen. Maybe she's looking for a missing luggage at the airport or something. But we've been to the airport, and she was nowhere to be found. to go and see my parents now. Oh, come on. Can't that wait till later? Wait till later? You want to wait till later to meet your parents-in-law to be? Come on. Oh, God. You always like having things here. Well, all right, come on. Let's go dress up. It's not my way. It's our way. We are, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Hello? Daddy? 
Daddy. Oh. Straight from the airport, but well, I didn't meet anybody at home, really? so I had to take Joe here to a hotel to check in. Uh, oh. All right. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure, sir. You're welcome. Nice You're welcome. You're welcome. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? Fine. Okay. He's a Nigerian, though, right? He's uh, based in Chicago, almost yeah. all his life. <laughs> but he wants to come down to Nigeria to you know, establish his business. Oh. Both of you come over to the dining. Uh, only mm -hmm. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you to be here. You know he's been around and uh, he's gone to the airport, you know, in search of you. So You mean we... he's still locking around? Ah, where do you want such a handsome son in law to even go in the first place? Uh, uh, I forgot to tell you that uh, while you were away, he's been coming and each time he comes here he will be staring at your photograph. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. Um you know, why don't you just sit down and help yourself to something, okay? Please, please. Uh, yes. Um, okay. Daddy? Yes, I am. Well, I need to see you guys in private, please. Privately? Yes. Then over to my sitting room. Okay. Let's go. Excuse me, Jim. Let's have you, Dick. So, um, I have something to tell you. Uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, well, 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 my dear sweetheart, if it's a buyer result, it's okay. It's not everyone that must make a first class. Daddy, my result is fine. I made it a Oh, I told you. <laughs> Congratulations, my dear. So what's bothering you? Uh, are you owing anybody? No, Daddy, you gave me enough. Oh, good. Yeah, what's yeah. it? Um, well, I want to let you in on the decision I took before coming down. Okay. Um, Jonathan, the man I came with, yes. he's been very nice to me. Mm -hmm. um, very caring, supportive, and... Um, That's good. That's very kind of him. Very good. In that case, um, we'll have to work on him to our family. Hmm? And um, if there is anything you want me to do for him, do not hesitate. Okay? I'll do um, anything you want me to do for him. Well, Daddy, you've said it all. All I want you to do is welcome him to the family. Yes. As your future son-in-law. What? What did you just say? Sandra. What did you just say? Sandra! You left home well aware who might elise in your life. He waited for you, prayed for you. What how do you want me to explain this to Michael? What do you want me to tell him? Look, I, I guess you are tired. Sandra? What's going on? What's going on here? I'm all alone here, and you know I don't like being left alone. 
Will you, will you keep quiet there? Keep quiet! Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind, Sandra? Daddy, there's no need to raise your voice. So how do you want me to explain this to Michael? Why do you want to hurt him? Why? Daddy, we're supposed to be talking about my life here, not Michael. Michael is your fiance, Sandra. He was my friend. friend. Now, 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 listen. Listen to me, Sandra. Enough of this nonsense. Go out there and tell that man that my answer is no. But, Daddy, you haven't even heard me out. How can you be so insensitive to, 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 to hurt a man that loves you so much? For your information, Michael is like a son to me. What? him. Sorry, Daddy. But I loved you and I will marry you. And I said no to that. Don't come back here. Come back here. I'm telling you, Joe. Don't you ever stand in my love again. Just go, Eliza. Once you find yourself, sir. Let's just go. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Where did you come back to? Come back here. Sandra, come back here. Can somebody please it? Now, this idiot will you shut up there. If I get out of my compound, get out! It's okay, Chief. It's okay. It's Sandra. You know who Sandra is? Remember how she was in the past? Things like this provocation. Now turn her back into a rebel, please. Let her remain a rebel. All I'm saying is that she must marry Michael. Either for better or for worse. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just coming from the airport and there's no hope of her being at the airport. Is she back? Um, yes, she is, but um, she went out with a friend. Went out with a friend? At this time of the night? She just came back. Um, actually, she came home with some people and uh, she has gone to uh, check them into a hotel. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, which hotel is that so I could just go and bring her back? I don't know. But she went to the chief. Yes. Um, well, ma'am, I guess I have to go now. I'll come back tomorrow and see her. I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. For Christ's sake, okay? But he just met you. He probably needs some more time to get used to you. Just look at the way he looked at me. He even called me an idiot. Who does he think he is? Some pot bent fat ass? Hey! Joe, watch it. It's my dad you're talking oh, about. Oh, please! Look, maybe, maybe it was all my fault. I've, 
probably made a wrong presentation or something. So, Sandy, tell me. Sandy, come tell me. Tell me just exactly what happened. Go on, tell me. It's nothing. It was nothing you should worry yourself about. Listen to me. We should be thinking of walking down the aisles. I need to establish my business back here in Nigeria and probably other parts of the world. But your father's resentment is slowing me down. Why don't you talk to him? Talk to him! Okay, take it easy, all right? Time will tell, okay? He'll get used to you. Okay, listen. This is our first, okay? Let's not ruin this. You're hungry, aren't you? Yes, I am. Good. Let's go out to some beautiful, quiet restaurant and have lunch. Oh, what'd you say? It's okay. Yeah, you know, I just chipped my holes again. Something I really don't understand here, and I can't put these things together. I, is Sandra back from the U.S. or not, ma? I mean, I, I've been coming here for almost a week now, and I haven't seen her. Of course I know. But you see, she was given lots of messages by Nigerians residing in New York for their families. Some of these families are in Uwere, but Harcourt and Abba. So she do go with Chief each day. Every day she knows I come here. Why don't she want to see me? You see, Michael, maybe she doesn't want anything to take away her attention when she finally comes to see you. But mom, I, I have a phone. The least she could do is ask Chief for my number and call me. I mean, you know I come here every day. You know. I know. She never thought of that. And uh, I never thought of that either. When is she coming back? Like in two or three days. Let's say two. Okay, ma'am, when she comes, just tell her I came. Um, I came again like usual. I've been coming. I will. Tell her I, I'm dying to see her. I don't know if she's not feeling the same anymore, but I need to see her. Okay. I will. Hmm? Bye, ma'am. Don't tell me you haven't seen Sandra yet. I haven't. Believe me. Oh, but it's more than 24 hours since she came. Look, the whole thing is driving me crazy. I've been all over, everywhere. I practically sleep in her house. All kinds of excuses keep springing up. I mean... But what did she say? I have not seen Chief either. Look, Oscar, I, all I want now listen, is... Listen, listen, look at you. You're losing sleep. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. You worry too much. You know Sandra is the only good thing that ever happened to me, you know. I think there's something going on you need to find out, you know. Maybe her parents are trying to set up some kind of joke to find out if you really love Sandra. Yeah. You think so? That's right. Look at the setup. She's been back 24 hours. There's no way Sandra will be back for more than 24 hours and she hasn't called you. She hasn't tried to get in touch with you. Oh, come on, man. Use your senses. 
I think what you need, Michael, is a good food, rest, and then other things will fall in place. Come on, man, let me take you to lunch. <laughs> National route, then you know how beautiful it is to find. Man, I can't wait to be in the cockpit and handle things to myself. It will happen. Yes, how are you? Let's have some wine, fried rice, two plates of chicken. So, as I was saying, Michael, yes. the old man is no fool. He has no son, no heir to the family wealth and name. So if you marry his only daughter, his only child, you know where that puts you? Hmm. I mean, the whole thing was a test of fate. Exactly. Exactly. I just wanted to know if you are caring, you know? But you did well, my man. You did real good. I'm sure you must have passed the test. But don't let it worry you. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it affect your life, your work, your... You know, it happened to one of my friends once. Really? What's wrong, man? What's... Is everything all right? Sandra. Sandra? Sandra? Michael. Hi. Uh... How are you? So, uh, what was this? Well, honey, meet Michael. Um... We were friends while I was still in school down here. Oh, I see. Michael, this is Jonathan, my fiancé. What? This has got to be some kind of job. I mean, Sandra, when did you come back? When Early you... today. Uh, you look good. You know, all grown up. Uh, can see you finally succeeded being a pilot. That's very good. You know he works with my father's company. Oh. Yes, yeah, so as a pilot trainee. That's good. Mm. Well, Michael, it's been nice meeting you again. Hey, uh, good luck. So, so, about the proposal, Sandra. Yes. Um, I'd like to see you, see you privately. I'm sorry, Michael. This is a bad time. Maybe some other time. Said I need to see you. Excuse me. Hey, buddy. The lady says some other time. Michael. Excuse me, I wasn't talking to you. Okay? Stay out of this. Michael, this is very unnecessary. Now you tell me what is necessary. Hey, buddy, the lady says to leave. What's your problem? No, you. You leave me? Yes, you leave it to me. What? Fuck it, man. What? What's wrong with you? Let me leave. 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 What has come over you? The lady says to leave, why did you go? Well. All is not well, ma'am. Ma I, I want to know why you deceived me. I beg your pardon, Michael. What is that supposed to mean? I... My... Sir. I heard your voice. What's the matter? Sir, I, I discovered that... I discovered that Sandra is back with her new fiancé and... I mean... Could somebody please tell me what is happening here?
Sir, we are as confused as we are. But I want you to exercise little patience. All right? It will soon be over. Okay, sir. Michael, mm. please go and rest. Hmm? I'll take care of the situation tomorrow, okay? Mm. Go and rest. Mm. Good night. I called you here today for all of us to talk like a family. Your return was supposed to be a moment of happiness for all of us. But as you have noticed, it has turned into a moment of sadness, a moment of depression for me. And I ask myself, why? I want us to visit this issue of Michael again. Maybe you have forgotten who he is. Daddy, marriage to me is my decision to make. Because it has to do with my future, my happiness. And I believe Jonathan can give me that happiness. My dear, Michael was instrumental in your life, so much so that you even fought us over him. If I may quote you in your exact words, he is your life. Michael is a pilot, Daddy. He won't always be there for me. What I felt for him is in the past now. I'm a grown woman and I know what I want. Michael was a boyfriend. Jonathan is the husband I want. Look, you took a decision that made you forget where you come from. And didn't bother to think of how it will affect other people in your life, Sandra. Do you know how much Michael has accused us lately? Do you? Today, Michael sees me as a cheat and as an insensitive father. All because of you, Sandra. Why are you doing all this? Why? I believe I'm doing the right thing, Daddy. If only you would take out time to get to know Jonathan as well as I do. I don't wish to know him. I repeat, I do not wish to know him. Michael has done a lot for you. He has sacrificed a lot for you. Abandoning him at this moment makes no sense to me, Sandra. But getting married to him makes no sense to me either. How can you say that? How dare you? Dear, please be calm. Calm down. Sandra, do not be nasty. All you need to do is go to your room, sit down and think this whole thing over. Start from the past. Leave that hotel room and come back to the house, please. You see, your father has built this, this fine new place for you, for your comfort. You cannot abandon this place for a hotel, Sandra. Please, come back and stay with us. Well, I can't abandon Jonathan either. See, he's, he's used to staying in hotels. And um, speaking of Jonathan, I have to go. He must be lonely now. Now you listen to me. Go back to that hotel, that dirty hotel, and bring back here all your luggage. I would like to revisit it again. Daddy, maybe you and I will understand that as some person if you stop seeing me as a child. Yes. And maybe you and I will get to understand each other better if you stop seeing me as a stranger in this house but as your father whose words and feelings must be respected now for the last time go back to that dirty room that dirty hotel room and bring back all your things here this is where you belong Sandra. well jonathan will be comfortable here until the house is fully ready Sandra! Sandra! Sandra, come back here! Sandra, I said come back here! Alright, you heard me well and you heard me correctly. Get back to that hotel and bring back all oh, your yeah, look at this back home here. No, you talk to her. Talk to her. This must be the last time. Let me see you back in this house.
need to talk with you. Jeez, Michael, you have no right to follow me here. Sandra, why are you doing this to me? What have I done wrong? Look, I'm sorry, okay? It's just... It's about time we moved on with our lives. Just face it. I love you, Sandra. I always did. What life do you expect me to live without you? Sandra, what happened to our love, our life, our dreams? Oh, please, Sandra, please. Look, that was all in the past, all right? Maybe I loved you then, all right? But you're not the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Just try and understand that. I waited for you, Sandra. I dream of you every night I close my eyes. Sandra, you are my life. Why do you want to leave me because of that man you came back with? Why? Hey, 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 hey. I'll tell you why. What? Because I got what you ain't got. And a lot more you never ever dream of having your whole life. She's mine. Stay away from her, fool! Oh, Joe, okay. Hey, no, no, Sandra. No, 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 Sandra. Just let me handle this for the last time. This is not between you and I. This is between me and Sandra. And I'd appreciate it if you stay away from us. Damn you. I said, damn you. You had the nerves to show up at the restaurant the other time and pulled up the stunt you pulled. And you show up again. What do you want, punk? What do you want? Your dead wish or something? I guess I should be asking you that, Mr. Whatever. Look, I I'd appreciate it if you just step away from her. Oh, yeah? Leave her alone. You see, you and I can actually settle this as gentlemen. Or, or you want some gangster shit? Is that what you want? Come on, go ahead! Oh, go ahead! For Christ's sake! Go ahead! Come on, you know how I feel when you act like this. Look, Sandra, you see, he doesn't have any feeling how you feel. He doesn't care! Come, let's go home, Sandra, please. Michael, please, for the last time, stay away from me. I never want to see you again, all right? Just leave me alone. I can never leave you alone, Sandra. I can never. Stay away from me! What's Jimmy, Sandra? No. Sandra, no. Sandra, 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 Stay away from her pop, she doesn't want you! Go to hell! Sandra! Sandra! Sandra, it's me! Go to hell! I still want you I still care I cherish every moment we share together Heaven knows it's true Gladly have you back If you still want me Like the way I crave for your love Heaven knows it's true If it's over Let me know If it's over Tell me, baby, yeah. if it's over, why don't you show it to me? Yeah. If it's over, yeah. maybe I'll understand. Yeah. Remember all the things we did together, all the fights and love we had together. Baby, if it's all over, mm, don't keep it hanging home. Where are the feelings we clung to? Where is the beauty of the past? If it is over, yeah, baby, yes, I'll take it like the man I am. Enough is enough. Today I'm taking you away with me. Stop. 
Tell me, come with me. What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What, Michael, are you insane? Hey, 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 Sandra. Look, I'm here to understand what it is with you and this drunk nigga. What's your problem? And you, American boy. Next time you talk to me like that, I will teach you in Nigerian lesson. What are you going with me? Get away! What's the matter with you? Michael, listen to me. You're beginning to get on my nerves. Do you understand? If you continue like this, I might be forced to call the police. Or better still just report to my dad, and you know what that means. Please, report me to your dad. Do anything, call the police. But just come with me, Sandra. Sandra, you can't live with that guy. Sandra, please, don't. Sandra, please. Are you, are you, look at me. Listen to me, boy. Next time you try this bullshit, I'm gonna kick your ass real bad. Bunk! Uh, oh, you get out. Don't go with Sandra. Sandra, please don't go. She's all I have. Sandra, please. Sandra, can't you see all your dream? Sandra, it's not fair. I love you, Sandra. Sandra, I love you. Please don't go, Sandra. Please, Sandra, please. By the way, did you feel the takeoff chart and submit to the chief flight officer's office? Yes, I did. Oh. I guess so. I guess so. Michael, the information on that chart was backwards and it's dangerous. Any pilot that uses that will be in trouble. People might die. I mean, what were you thinking? Man? What were you thinking? Thinking? I don't even know what to think anymore. By the way, when did you start smoking? Michael, when did you start smoking? Come on, pull yourself together. Okay, this is your job. The whole flight crew were mad at you. I had to plead on your behalf. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, bro. I think that's what I want now someone to plead on my behalf. Michael, get Sandra out of your mind. Get on with your life, man. This is your job. You really worked hard for this. Okay, show some manliness, man. Be a man. Uh, excuse me, hello? A drink for Captain Oscar. What do I offer you, Captain? Out. So really, you have to be a man. You have to be a man.
from Chess. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I want to see you. Ah. Yes. Okay. One minute. Let me do two minutes. I, sh I should wait. Yeah. 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 Sir. Yeah. Sir, is, is Oga Michael? What? Michael? Yeah. Yes, sir. What does he want? Sir, uh, I don't know. He has been banging on the gate. All right, open the gate, please. It's not in his good mood. Let him go. Let that's him right. Go. That's right. Uh, come, come. Come, 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 please. Tell him to go home. Okay. We've gone to bed. All right. Yes, good. It's all good. This is filthy. You now drink like fish and smoke like chimney. Michael, you were supposed to be on the first flight out of this town this morning. Why are you still at home? Yes, yes, I know. Ah, uh, God. Damn. And I was, I was slightly not feeling too well today. But no, we're standing. Let me go get dressed and join you guys. That won't for be second necessary. Right. That won't be necessary. You messed up your flight chart again. Our flight to Lagos would have crashed if not that the pilot was quite experienced. I tried. I mean, I really, really tried to plead on your behalf, but the flight engineers and crew and everybody concerned wouldn't, wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Michael, they are suspending you. What? Yes. Oscar, it was just a mistake now. Mistake? Did you say mistake? 152 passengers and crew would have crashed this morning because of your mistake. Oh, come on, this is the fourth time you're doing this in one month. Check it. As a matter of fact, Michael, they are suspending you. In fact, they're laying you off. Laying me off? Yeah. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. This is all I've dreamt of. This is my life. Oscar, you know, I mean... Well, oh, this, this is not the end of the world. It's the end to my dream. No, it's not. Um, there are some other airlines, um, some other places you can work. We we'll try and see what we can do, but you have to pull yourself together first, really, before any other thing can be done. Really pull yourself together, man. It's not the end of the world, like I say. Pull yourself together.
I just want to know if he's going to be. Of course, Stanley. He's going to leave. But he hasn't talked. He hasn't opened his eyes or moved his body. Yes. But don't have to worry. Doctors have assured me that he's going to live. Don't worry. He'll be fine. What do I owe this visit to? Because you have me at home, despite the fact that you are one of my best pilots. Well, Chief, thanks for the compliment. Of course, you now realize that with that kind of position, my schedule will be tight always. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is uh, Michael? Michael, um, I'm afraid, sir, there is bad news. Bad news? Yes, Chief. What bad news? He's been suspended by the Flight Executive Council. Why? They discovered some mistakes in its flight take-up chart. And then some other mistakes, too. The other bad news is that Michael was involved in a terrible motor accident and is on admission right now. Jesus Christ. I hope it is not fatal. Oh, no, sir. It, it's not. But um, it's as bad as it can get. However, the doctors are trying their best, sir. Oh. Welcome, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Right. See that you're back. Good afternoon. Come on, there's a problem here. Oscar here has just informed me that Michael was involved in an auto crash. What? Auto crash? When? Yesterday. And presently he's in the hospital. You have to go and see him. That's right. Please get ready. Eh? And tell the driver to be ready too. Okay. Oh my God. Are you sure this is a good idea, Chief? I mean, giving Sandra 100,000 US dollars to offer to Michael so that he can leave her. Edna, the young man has lost his career because of the emotional problem my daughter caused him. His life is worth more than $100,000. He has given up everything. Don't you understand? I know. But you should have offered him the money as a compensation yourself. Um, well, Edna, I want Sandra to do the delivering and settle everything I meet carefully. We should all, 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 all be praying that the young man accepts the offer and put everything behind him so that all this nightmare will be forgotten. Please. That's true. Michael. I'm not pleased with the way things are going. I'm not happy with the way you're handling the situation. Do I look happy to you? Suddenly you found out time to visit. That's because I'm here to make you an offer. This is $100,000, Michael. Use this and start a new life. I'm sorry if I've cost you whatever pains or led you into believing there could be something between us. Just think it. If not for your face, I would have sworn that I don't know who you are. Sandra, look at me. What evil came over you in the United States? No evil at all. Let's just say I found what I wanted out there. I found Jonathan. So, Jonathan is the better <laughs> man now, right? Look, just take the money, okay? You have your whole life ahead of you. So do I. I don't want your money. Just, 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 
your money and leave. Okay? No one the last in the whole world to pay for the deadly vacuum you created in my life. Yourself. Sandra, remember. Do you remember when you were in the hospital like this? I was there for you. From when your parents were not were not there. I took you home afterwards. And it was that love that won your father's heart for you. It was that battle that changed your entire destiny. Your whole life. I haven't forgotten so soon. I'm sorry. Okay, all that's in the past now. Just like you're in the past for me. And if you must know, I'm pregnant for Jonathan. What's up with you? Sweetie, what is this? What? What? You think you're still in the States? Quit acting like a high school kid and be responsible. Quit smoking. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like anybody trying to run my life for me. I'm okay? not trying to run your life. I'm only telling you the truth. Sweetie, since we got here, I've been all by myself. I do all the running around. You just sit here, drink and smoke. Honey, I'm carrying your baby. I know. I don't. But I just don't like being ordered around. I'll be fine. I'll be just okay. Did you get the money from your father? He's going to come by and discuss what you want to do with the money. Bullshit! He wasn't supposed to know the money was meant for me! So what? I was supposed to lie to my father? Can't do that. Oh, I'm God damn! It will now seem as if I'm asking him for money. Honey, look, my dad is going to be your future father-in-law. Oh. You better start getting used to it. I mean, our wedding is due in no time, and for now he has a right to know what goes on. I don't like this. I just don't like this. It kind of makes me feel cheap. Oh, please. Stop, right? This money is for both of us, you and I. Okay? Huh? 
All right, we just go take care of some business. There's no need to get worked up. Whatever, okay? Let's just leave. Coming from at this time of the night. Oh, I want to see a couple of friends in town and uh, went into town to see what town looks like. And since when did you start visiting friends at midnight? Oh, please, come on, it's late. All right, and I'm tired. Joe, what has come over you? What? Nothing. Nothing, sweetheart, nothing. Can't you understand simple things? Must we argue over everything? Must we? Oh, please, I'm tired, please. I need to sleep. Please turn off the lights. I'm going to check out my wedding gown. I have to make a choice out of about nine gowns. Mm. Beautiful. That's good. Mm. I also have an appointment with the caterer. And um, I haven't decided on what colors I want the cake to be. Really? Sounds great. <sighs> I have an idea. Why don't you go with me? Right? And then we can make the choice together. Uh-oh. Honey, please, yes, please, but... please, 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 please. I have an appointment to keep tomorrow. Can I wait till some other time? Please? Some other time? For Christ's sake, I'm talking about our wedding here. That is important as, as well. I know. I know, please. But I promise you, the day after tomorrow, I'm going Okay. No, don't worry. I'll get it. Boy here, Sola. 
that you went on without him. Now I've just lost twenty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Hey, hey, you are. How was I supposed to know what those boys were amateurs? Tell me. How was I supposed to know? That's not the point. They mentioned our names. Those guys mentioned our names. They even gave the address of the club. And the agency of ours. And that includes you. If we will go down, you will go down first. Whenever a thing like this comes up, it takes like $20,000 to cool it. Plus the $20,000 you made me lose. That is $40,000. That's a big money. And if you don't turn up with it by the weekend, I'm going to send you to the hitman of the cutter. That is if I don't waste you to cover my tracks. Now get up and get the hell out of this place. Now! Go on, take it easy, okay? I'll go. Right. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Just take it easy. I always know how to clean up my mess, okay? I'll do that. from at 7 a.m. in the morning. Where have you been all night? Hey, 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 sweetheart. I'm not in the mood for that. Meanwhile, I need more money. About $50,000. I got something to do with it. You're insane. You're... What do you take me for, a fool? But you must be mad. Whatever, baby. Look, what matters is that I need some money. Some more money to put myself together, okay? Look, honey, come on. Talk to your father. Tell him, all right? Tell him. He could arrange something, whatever, okay? Look what is me. my father supposed to be to you? Oh. Your personal bank account? Oh, come off it. Why can't your father give me money? His son-in-law to be? Oh, but I remember he gave you all. School boyfriend uh, Michael, some fifty thousand dollars some time back because of you, didn't he? Oh, come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Get to him. Get to him. You disgust me, Sandra. You slapped me. You slapped me. You bitch. You slapped me. to leave hotel. There's, a, there's an emergency, please, an emergency. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, Sandra. Sandra. Doctor, uh, Chief, I hope the pregnancy is still intact. Yes, very much intact. Uh, but uh, it's obvious that she is passing through some stress. However, relax your mind. She will be all right. Excuse me. Sandra, tell me, are you having any problem with Jonathan? 
No. No, mommy, no problem at all. So where is he? I mean, where did he go to? He couldn't have left home this early without telling you where he has gone to. Where is he? Did he sleep outside? He did. So after giving him the money he requested for, the next thing is for him to start sleeping outside. No, Daddy. They, he, he just went out. He went out. I hope you're okay. I'm on the phone. All right, Daddy, we'll be we'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Bye. It looks like you're still pissed at me about what happened, but I told you I'm sorry. I am really very sorry. My parents want us to Wait. come over. Sweetheart. Did you tell your parents about the little money I asked for? I promise I will pay back. I'm going to pay back. Joe, what is it with you and this money? It's not been two weeks I gave you $50,000. What? Open my safe. I said to you, and pay back. I promise you. May I help you? Joe, we need to talk outside now. Hello, I asked a question. Who are you? Joe, who are these people? And what is it they want with you? You guys ain't supposed to come here. You were not supposed to come here. adventure for you. Very dramatic. Your wife-to-be, my daughter, just lost her pregnancy. It, it, it was an accident, sir. It wasn't my fault. I... Sandra said some men came to the house and attacked both of you. The men are your friends, aren't they? Yes, they are. They are my business associates. I do business with them. This man were not supposed to come to the house if Sandra had given the money I asked for. But she wouldn't. She refused. She wouldn't listen to me. What money? What money? Did she give you $50,000 I gave you? Yes, she did. 
but it wasn't enough i asked her for more but she, 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 but she wouldn't she wouldn't give it to me she wouldn't listen to me so it's now my daughter's fault i didn't say that all right um young man i'm about to make an offer to you which you will not refuse Here is $100,000. Take it and go back to the United States and leave my daughter alone. You and I know that you are not ready for marriage. We can remain friends, I mean family friends, but leave my daughter alone. Need more money? Give me a call. I'll arrange and make the money available to you. But please leave my daughter alone. On the other hand, if you choose to remain with Sandra, you're not going to get a dime from us. Not a single dime, okay? That's right. So the options are yours. Anyhow, whatever. I appreciate and I'm really very sorry for whatever trouble I must have caused both of you. Please, please uh, give my regards and uh, my love to your daughter, Sandra. Tell her I still love her. I gotta go. Thanks so much. Sandra. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the hospital. Well, I'm not. And you don't know because you don't care. Oh, no. Come on, Sandra. It's not what you think. Look, it's just that things got pretty tight and tough for me. And I, I, I just could, could... You took money in place of me. I gave you my love. You sold it for a few dollars. I promised to be with you for better and for worse. Is that all I'm worth to you? No, 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 Sandra. Don't, don't, don't say it that way. You know, you know, I need this. We both need this money. You know how pretty tight things were for, for me. You know, back in the states, I was basically living off you. Nothing ever worked for me. Nothing. But with this. I could do a whole lot, a hundred grand, I could do a whole lot, put things together, you know, so we don't have to fall back on your father, promise, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. young man, get out. Goodbye, Joe, thanks for ruining my life. Get out of my house. Yes, I'll go, I'll go, it's cool, I mean, I'll go, it's all right, Sandra. You get out, out. I still love you, Sandra. So get out, get out. I love you, but I, I love you, okay? I'll come back to you. Get out before I release my dogs! Hold on. Alright, Sandra, take care of yourself. Get out! Idiot. Uh, sweetheart, please go and talk to me. Sandra!
be enough by asking the whole world to pay for the deadly vacuum you created in my life. I don't intend to keep so when I say forever, forever's what I mean. Well, I ain't no Casanova, but I swear this much is true. I'll be holding nothing back when it comes to you. You dream of love that's everlasting. Oh. Well, baby, open up your eyes. I can love you like that. I would make you my world. Move heaven. Talk to you. Well, talk to me about what? There's nothing to talk about, Sandra. There's nothing. Just hear me out, okay? Um, look, I've not come here to make excuses for what I have done. Or to beg you to take me back, because I know I've wronged you beyond that. Okay, but just it's in your heart, Michael, to forgive me. Please, just a tiny little please. Please. S Sandra, go on. No. Sandra, leave me alone. Michael. It's gone. It's gone. I, I want you to stop tormenting me by coming here, okay? Just your forgiveness, Michael. That's all I ask. Sandra, go home. I said go. I said, go, go. Oscar, 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 you're my friend. I mean, don't allow anybody to use you to fool me. How much could they have paid you? I mean, nobody paid me anything. I came here because of something you taught me to believe in. I didn't come here to do you or anybody a favor. You taught me to believe in one thing. Love. What's love got to do with this? Everything. You lost your job because of love. You gave up everything to protect your pride and dignity because of love. You had to resist that temptation that every man probably will not resist. Money. Because of love. Now that love has come to find you, and you have to listen to me. Oscar, 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 Oscar. I, I would appreciate it if you just forget about, I mean, forget talking about Sandra. Okay? This is not time to talk about love. 
This is time to put my broken pieces together. I mean, can't you see? Listen, man, I, I understand how you feel, really. I do. You know, but don't forget that you told me once that she's the love of your life, that she was the best thing that ever happened to you. And that was then. And that was then. I mean, right now, I'm not interested. Period. I'm not interested. Think twice, Michael. True love never dies. It never dies. Are you sure about it? Why don't you think about it? There's nothing to think about, Dad. There's nothing left here for me. Jonathan was a big mistake I made, and Michael is not ready to forgive me for it. So the best thing is for me to go back to the States. <laughs> but you have me and your mother. Hmm? I know, Daddy, but you know what I mean. My dear, you know, I will always support you. As long as you know what you are doing. I just don't want you to be hard on yourself. Oh, my dear. You see, uh, we made mistakes. But it's for us to learn from it. Okay? You are still a very young girl and you have all your life ahead of you to live. Forget it. You will definitely meet somebody good. Thanks, Daddy, but I'm not looking out for one yet. All I need right now is to concentrate on my master's and get my PhD. It's my daughter. That's real good. Hmm? You have my support. Hmm? I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky And I swear like the shadows that's by your side I see the questions in your eyes. I know what's where. Sandra! 